Welcome to video number 5 SQL reporting service. Today we are going to rob the bank or ATM. This is just a story. What I want to show you is like how SQL reporting service works. Alright, so what are we going to do is uh, like a story. You got a boss down there. Alright, so he's gonna tell you. Alright, uh, we need to rob a bank. Okay, so in order to rob a bank, you need a bank name location and a password right if you have that then you'll be able to open a bank you take the money out and after taking the money out you give it to your boss right so this is kind of like two or three step process first thing is you need to know where the bank is and where the location is and you also need to know the password in order to access a bank right second thing is a way you taking the money out it's not like it's a huge bank and there's only one man so it's not possible for you alone to rob the whole bank right so it depends like uh, how much time you have based on which you will rob the bank right <clears throat> so that's what I want to try to illustrate you in this example this is an SQL reporting service so what happens is like as you can see over here this is an SQL and this is an Oracle uh, so it depends like SQL server a reporting service want to connect to which database right so this if I'm connecting to a SQL server example in our case I've been following along as a period slash school as an instance we created I mean we installed together so I want to connect to this database so if I want to connect to this database then I need to notify alright so I'm gonna connect to SQL the instant name is so and so and the username and password is blah 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 <coughs> now this job to connect a database using a SQL reporting service is done by this fellow named called as data source so data source knows everything about the location it is connecting to which database what username what passwords it holds what SQL version it has it knows so data source so you got the idea right <clears throat> so what I was trying to explain you here in this example is the bank right the, the bank name location and password is the job of a data source right alright so cool now once you have an access you are inside a bank now what you're going to do is you're going to query through the database you're going to query through the database like I'm doing over here is like you're going to do right so once you once you query through the database alright your data gets filled into this container called as data set and once your data set is ready your query is executed successfully you return this data back to the SQL reporting service and then SQL reporting service based on the data alright which you have given them it will try to render a report for you alright so this is what is how I was trying to explain you so I hope you got the idea in future when we work with the SQL reporting service all you need to remember is like there is always a SQL data source there will be a data set and there will be a reports on which we'll be working for like formatting we'll be doing a lot of things but for now just to give you an idea how SQL reporting service works and what are the components it needs this is the basics alright so thank you for watching this video if you like the video then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you